Hi, my name is Hemlock, and today I'll be exploring the connection between VTubers and literature. Arguably one of the most important steps to becoming a VTuber is their debut. It does a few things. It helps engage the audience, putting the VTuber out there, acting as a publicity, almost. Acting as an establishing milestone. But most importantly, it sells the VTuber character. In most cases, VTubers choose to become characters, having differing levels of complicated backstories, which is discussed or shown in the debut video. What the characters and backstories do is to essentially bring the audience along on a journey almost, where the audience helps them, or at least watches them complete goals from stream to stream. If this sounds familiar to a typical Monster of the Week story, a Sherlock Holmes case, or even a D&D campaign, but with the audience taking a more active role in the form of chats, donations, or in negative cases, backseating, it's because it is. Many stories especially those with characters the audience feels compelled to follow and see succeed, follows that of the hero's journey. Without delving into all of the details and becoming too complicated, the hero's journey is essentially a structure that pretty much goes as follows. A problem arises in the hero's homeland which forces them to leave a familiar territory to travel to a foreign land and overcome challenges before defeating the root of the problem. When they're done with that, they return back home. In many cases, if we were to take the debut videos and to look at them through the structure of the hero's journey, it becomes clear that most debut videos stop in the middle of the structure of the hero's journey. Traveling to a foreign land to overcome challenges and fix the problem more specifically. Most VTuber characters take up streaming or recording videos for one reason or another, but mostly it's the idea that streaming or recording videos is a way to overcome challenges to fix a problem specific to them in their lore video, and this makes perfect sense. The main crux or climax of a story which often causes the audience to become really engaged is that of overcoming challenges in a foreign land. Neither the audience nor the hero knows the challenges and set out to understand it and solve it together, in most cases at least. To gain the most attention from the audience, VTuber characters are thrust directly into their issues, inviting the audience to help solve their problems or watch them navigate a new world altogether. This can be seen as either playing games, talking to the audience, or in the case of navigating a new world, it does a little bit of an unconventional switch, where the audience might be familiar with this particular time dimension, planet, or otherwise, but a character might seem to act differently or try to navigate it, which creates an interesting dynamic of the audience watching them slowly come to terms, or at least figure out their struggles. The effect of this is twofold. The audience gets an active participation, which causes them to feel engaged, and they want to see what the character might do in different situations or challenges such as games, often wanting to see how they play through it or complete it. Of course, that's not specific to VTuber characters, and in fact, many people watch gaming YouTubers complete games for that very reason. But is the idea of a character slowly working their way through an unfamiliar environment which causes it to fit that of the hero's journey. While most VTuber characters follow this general structure in their backstories, 
or debut videos, there are some exceptions, of course. One prominent one that comes to mind is that of the monarch villain, and the other is a very prominent cyborg from Noctix, Fogger Ovid. Instead of playing a very complicated character, his own character creates a persona, making a whole novel on his blog spot, which I will be diving into in the next video. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good day.